Hey guys, welcome to AppleDiaries.com. I'm Mariah. Welcome to my Heal Thyself channel where I'm discussing health, detoxification, and how to heal thyself. So today I wanted to talk about a product that I've come across. I mean, it's been out there for a long time. I've researched it quite extensively and I've come to the conclusion that you can't really consider it a supplement um, because it's more of a whole food. And this is kind of what I was looking for. Um, for, term, for the reasons of, one, I'm looking for good foods that we can stock up on that won't perish easily, that will give us maximum amount of uh, uh, nutrients and, say, chlorophyll in times of scarcity. Um, and what I've come across, or what, what I've discovered, was this daily green boost. So I wrote to them, and I told them that I was considering uh, putting their product on my website, um, but I wanted to try it first. And they were so generous that they actually sent me a bottle, um, complimentary. And what I'm going to do is I'm starting a new uh, little regime today. And I'm going to really kick it up a notch, you know. When you've gone through um, healing and you you no longer suffer with the symptoms that you once did, you can kind of balance out, you know. And, and so I take healing now in waves or detoxification. It's not like I always have to be in detoxification, you know. I balance out. I, I have my big meal salads at night with my steamed veggies. Last night I had baked spaghetti squash um, on top of a huge salad and I had some steamed spinach and uh, half an avocado, you know, things like that. Um, but, you know, after a while you kind of get tired of the big meals and you kind of crave going back to just fruit. So I'm actually going to start off my days um, just with distilled water, maybe some freshly squeezed orange juice if I feel like it, and then around noon I'm going to try this stuff out, the Daily Green Boost. So it's just barley um, juice, like they've taken the, the barley grass and then they've juiced it, and then they dry that juice at low temperature. So basically... I think that this can be more considered as a whole food than a supplement. And I'm not big on supplements, as you know. I mean, supplements can be used for a certain period of time, but they don't help to heal the root cause of any health issue or any deficiency, and they only serve as a band-aid effect to kind of mask symptoms, and it supplements throw body chemistry off as well because when you take say calcium then you throw off your magnesium and and so you're always playing catch up and you're never able you, you can't mess with the um, internal environment of the body and think that you can manipulate it to you know if you take it you don't make it so if say if you're taking certain things like even sodium bicarbonate your body's not going to make it after a while so if you're using that to alkalize your body on a regular basis i'm just saying that i don't think that it's proper for us to rely on supplements i mean a lot of vegans think that they're lacking in a lot of um essential nutrients and so they supplement but this is because they're in the align the thinking that that meat and animal products are actually offering the body something of value when in fact there's nothing that we get from meats and animal products um, that is uh, beneficial to the body so therefore we don't need to supplement once we return to our natural diet um, because we think we're lacking something from the previous diet. No, it's quite the opposite actually. But anyway, so I've never been big on supplements for those reasons and because the body only recognizes whole foods in its natural form, really. But I consider this possibly, you know, like a whole food. Anyways, what I'm thinking about um, along the lines is, see, I know that we're possibly heading for a major economic downturn with this coronavirus scare and all the industries that have been affected. And so I've been kind of looking into, uh, once again, I did do this long ago, but um, 
replenishing my stock of food storage and just making sure I have plenty of water and you know I just want to be prepared in case anything is going to result from this economically um, and so what I think through my research and I haven't tried it yet so I'm gonna give this daily green boost an honest try I'm gonna have it every day at noon and then, um, and, and it just goes in water and you mix it up. So it's a good shot of, you know, like chlorophyll, but that would be really good as a survival food because it doesn't require, you know, you just have to keep it in a cool, dark place. Um, so like, say we were in times of crisis. Well, for somebody like me, um, having a daily green powder, I could easily just mix that with some water down that, that would sustain me for, you know, the entire day if I needed. And so that's sort of what I'm looking at it from that perspective, but at the same time, I think it might be good as well for those people that don't have access to a lot of greens. And because chlorophyll, I feel, is very essential for our health. You know, it captures the sunlight energy. The chlorophyll molecule is almost identical to the, the molecule to our blood, which is what uh, one scientist had said, and it kind of resonated with me, and, and I thought, hey, yeah, I mean, I do think greens are, are fairly essential. Tender leafy greens, nothing too, you know, abrasive, like like uh, regular large kale salads or things like that. Anyway, so I'm going to give this daily green boost a try, and because, you know, I, I've, I've balanced out for a while. I've had my steamed foods and, you know, my yummy huge salads and things, but Today I'm gonna, I don't know how long I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna start a new regime of, I wanna do a, an eating window between about 3 and 6 p.m., so about three hours. And so for the first part of the day, I'm just gonna have my distilled water, maybe my freshly squeezed orange juice, and I'm gonna try the daily green boost. And then at around three, I'll start my, I'm just gonna eat fruits. So I'll probably eat like two, two meals between three and six. I'll probably start with a uh, big melon. I like to do that, eat the whole thing. And then an hour later, I'll probably make myself some banana, nice cream with the dates or whatever fruit I have available. So I'm just gonna do sort of like a one, two meal a day, but between three and 6 p.m. of just fruits. Now I don't know how long I'm gonna go on this. I just, I just felt like it yesterday. I had my last meal and I was kind of like, and it just came to me. It's not like I planned it really just popped in my head because this daily green boost came in the mail and I was like, so when am I going to start taking this? And it feels weird, you know, for me to take any type of, uh, powder or anything. Um, because I, I just don't, um, I've never supplemented on my entire journey. Um, I may be one of the only vegans who hasn't, it seems, because everybody seems to think they're lacking in something, whether it's B12 or vitamin D, but I make sure I get out in the sun and I have a garden every year and, and you know, my soil's healthy and so um, I'm, you know, picking things from the garden and, and playing in the soil and there you go. I mean, B12 is just basically bacteria anyway. So we're just lacking in B12 because of all our unhealthy farming practices and the soils are all sterile and ruined and and the vegetables are washed like 10,000 times in chlorine and then you take them home and wash them again and you know there's just no no it's just our practices are all wrong we're doing everything backwards so so this is why, you know, it's just a symptom, these B12 deficiency of a deeper root cause that needs to be addressed. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to say was I'm going to try this regime and I will make another video update on how it goes and, and what I do think about this daily green boost. I'll probably add it to my website. It'll be my first product that I put on my website, but I have given it a lot of thought. And, you know, um, there are a few select people that you know are so depleted and deficient when they first begin a healing journey that sometimes sometimes a supplement can help it is a band-aid effect yes it's not healing the root cause but it can help them along their journey to get them to a certain point where they can let it go and then you know take it from there so with this daily green boost i'm looking at it for a survival food i'm looking at it you know for long-term storage i'm looking at it from a whole food um, plant sort of as um, aspect and i'm looking at it um, as 
It's basically a meal replacer, but to get that extra uh, boost of chlorophyll. Oh, and a heavy metal detox in a sense, because that is something I've been interested in looking into, um, is to do you know a bit of a heavy metal detox. I feel that anybody along their healing journey, once they get to the fruit, vegetable, and green, and herb only level, it's imperative that you do a three month parasite cleanse, which I will be uh, talking further about this in future videos. Um, I'm just finishing up actually my three month parasite cleanse and this is the first time I've done like an extensive one where um, I just want to make sure I get all life cycles and you know and I'll speak further about this in further video in, in a future video. Um, I'm going to possibly put this three month protocol on my website as well. Um, I do feel that um, I've experienced quite a few benefits already which I'll explain further in another video as well and so and then probably the daily green boost I'd like to add to my site as well because you know like in times of scarcity to have like you know a few jars of this wow like that's a whole meal replacer it's only got one ingredient um, and it's considered raw so like I do feel that this is probably going to be a, a good product. I've heard a lot of good things about it, and so I'm going to give it a try for myself. So stay tuned. Probably in a week or maybe two weeks, I'm going to document my one meal a day um, eating between 3 and 6 p.m. and then uh, incorporating the daily green boost in the mornings, or sorry, around noon. So I will, uh, I guess, give a review on this product, and uh, I don't know. I think it's uh, going to be a good time, good experience. My body needs a bit of a digestive rest and a bit of a kind of a reset. So I'm excited about this one meal a day intermittent fasting routine. And that's what I do love about healing is that once you reach a certain point, you can kind of balance out and then you can kind of navigate in and out of uh, detoxification at will and that's what I do now. So now I'm, you know, going to hit it up and do a little detoxing again and then after that I'll balance out and I'll enjoy my healthy foods, vegan foods, the healthy vegan foods and yeah. So happy healing everyone. Uh, please <laughs> give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down and like, share and subscribe. Okay, cheers.